I want to thank the students, uh, Larissa, uh, Kyle, and Connor, who put all of this, the wrap-ups together. They're behind the scene working hard. Um, Don talked about the, in, uh, the possibility of increased photosynthesis showed in tobacco, which is one of the most genetically studied plant for uh, historical reasons. And, and the question is, can it be used in food productivity? And that's its work in progress right now, but it's quite promising. Um, then Joe talked about not only the challenges, the scale of the challenges, but also the opportunities of new technology, biotechnology, and we are, you know, um, arguably living in the golden ages of biology with gene editing tools and other things coming on board. Um, and so, so the question is, can we use these tools and our scientific understanding to, to address the issue of food and, and, and agriculture and thereby carbon as well? Gretchen talked about a framework uh, uh, economic framework of valuing uh, nature in, in its, and, and how do we not just talk about GDP, but looking at broadly of using data and science to be able to quantify the value of what the natural resources are in gross economic product, and which has been adopted with some countries should be widely adopted uh, beyond this Costa Rica, China, and others. And, and Larry talk, talked about you know, carbon pricing and the the various implications of that, the, what the value ought to be and what the implications are of the, of the price of carbon on various aspects of sequestration. And, um, and we also, in our discussion, talked about the sociocultural aspects and what that could be, the heterogeneity of that around the world and the use of behavior in making these decisions. So the research needs identified. I'm not gonna go through the details, uh, what was very interesting to hear is that in, in the Green Revolution, the photosynthesis um, was not directly addressed, and, and there's capacity out there to improve for food productivity and thereby influence in the agricultural land versus forestry land, et cetera. And so th there's an opportunity out here that needs to be done and some co-benefits coming out of that. The integration of biology, engineering, data science, it's, it's I think, arguably in its early days right now. And and there's a lot more that could happen. Um, and then looking at the social implications uh, of these challenges, we talked about that, and the designing a fair carbon pricing policy, and, and not just on a domestic level, but how do we address that internationally if there's a carbon price? Can we take the revenues and distribute them so that they are, uh, they are, there's a you know, global benefit coming out of that for those nations that are not as well developed. And so the take home messages um, are the following. Improving photosynthetic efficiency uh, presents useful carbon mitigation strategy if it can be applied to food productivity and thereby influence the Briscoe charts that we talked about uh, and avoid um, forest conversion. Integration of biology, engineering, data science present new opportunity and it needs to be harnessed to address the the climate mitigation potential. Data science is promising and informing technology and policy decision as we heard from, from Gretchen. And there's lots of room out there as we also heard in some of the changes in agriculture and food habits. Carbon pricing cost effective way to produce, promote carbon sequestration. And the question is, can we get to the right values of carbon price that can actually make a difference, make a dent? And I think one of the things that we all learned um, and Shafiq pointed this out, system level thinking is critical in evaluating both the technologies and policies. So I think I'm wrapping up exactly on time, 10.55. And so let me hand this over to Sarah. Wow, well, thank you everyone. Um, what an amazing three days we've had. Um, thank you all for joining us. I've been so impressed with the information that's been shared, the dialogue that we've had, and of course, the challenges that we've got in front of us. In closing, um, I would again like to thank all of the wonderful speakers and panelists over the last three days. I'd like to thank our organizing committee, um, Ajay Mehta from Shell, Shafiq Jaffer from Total, Jennifer Mill and Richard Sassoon and Maxine Lim from Precourt. I'm also going to point out again the students and postdocs that were working in the background, Connor Nolan, Kyle Hemmies, and Larissa Kuntz, um, 
they were actually working behind the scenes in real time, summarizing key findings and re, um, future research needs. And um, their work was incredibly useful as we prepared our opening and closing remarks each day. And then, of course, I'd like to thank the Strategic Energy Alliance, Stanford Carbon Removal Initiative, and the Precourt Institute for Energy, and the Stanford Woods Institute for the Environment for sponsoring this event. In terms of follow-up and next steps, um, all three days of this workshop were recorded, and our intention is to make the recordings and the presentations available on a website uh, in due course, and we'll send you an email when um, they are available. We're also going to be sending out a survey later this afternoon to get your feedback on the workshop. It's really easy survey. It's just two questions, very quick. So please um, take a couple minutes to fill it out because that feedback will be incredibly useful as we plan future events. And finally, we plan to uh, write up some of the findings and especially the identified research opportunities in the form of a white paper. So that's still um, planning and in progress, but definitely stay tuned for that. And on behalf of the organizing committee, um, as well as Chris Field, Sally Benson, and Arun Majumdar, um, thanks again for your attendance and participation in this workshop. We had a great time. Thank you. And before we forget, can I take this opportunity on behalf of Sally, Chris, um, and the whole team to thank Sarah? for being really the quarterback for this whole workshop. Thank you so much. I know uh, you have other things on your hands and we really appreciate your hard work in putting this together and also to Maxine and Jenny for helping out. Thank you so much, Sarah. Thank, thank you. Sarah. Yeah, thank you, Sarah, very much. And, uh, and the whole team, yeah, Jenny and Richard and the, the, the bench is deep. So thank you. Okay.